Cutler Lauder. <laughs> just on the Dockers, I remember when Justin Longmuir came in to coach Fremantle, he started on just defence and how he could help steal the defence. There was this really slow ball movement type of side. Now we look at the way they're scoring. He's evolved. He's had a few years with them. This wasn't all his time, obviously, but it's gone 71 points a game, scoring 72, 64, 72. They've jumped up three goals a game, which is huge so far this year. Let's take a look at how they're doing it. So with their midfield, they've brought in Brayshaw, Sarong, these types of players, Will Brody. But nowadays, they used to go wide, slow, protect their defence. I think they've got just about one of the best defences in the competition. So they're now rock solid in winning one-on-ones, but they just don't hesitate anymore. In the past, you've said, who's their key forward that can score for them? They're dull. They're boring. They can't score. Well, Maddie Taverner kicked seven last week. Yesterday it was uh, Lobb and mm. it was also uh, Schultz who kicks goals. Walters looks a bit sharper, more dynamic. Frederick works his backside off as a hard running forward. So you just see this. They just go. Tarsi Tucker looks up. Taverner rolls up. It was him kicking seven last week. Look, drop over the top. They had, they had uh, Carlton at sixes and sevens yesterday. So, yeah, they, they seem the total package at the moment, the Fremantle Dogs. And just on Brayshaw, I think he's just about the best midfielder mm. in, in the game at the wow. moment with how he works both ways. The coaches him. have voted him that person to this point of the yeah. year in their yeah. board system. Yeah. And they're doing this without five. They've lost Chera, who's an elite midfielder. Yeah. So they're going well. How well are they going? So we'll find out. They've got some big games coming up. So they've beaten the side so far who they should have beaten. Let's have a look at the list of the sides that they have beaten so far. And we spoke about the fact that St Kilda was the only side to beat them, which stacks up a little bit. Um, You're saying they've beaten no one? I'm not saying they've beaten no one. The Carlton win, I the think Ca- the big games are coming. The Melbournes, yeah. the Geelongs in Geelong. They've got uh, Brisbane in about four weeks' time. So the big there games are coming. Ninth, 16th, 18th, 15th. And Carlton last night, uh, the best team they've beaten so far along. But you, with, can, uh, you can only deal with who you presented. But exactly. But week, we're saying you? that the, the big sides are coming. And then we'll know exactly where they're at.